I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. What have you done? Did you kill him? Me? What do you mean? Me. You were looting the body right here on the road. What of it? A corpse doesn't need possessions. It'll be easier for you if you confess. All right, then. I did it. I didn't want to kill him. I just couldn't stop myself. There he is with money, strutting around. And I've barely got enough to keep myself fed. You don't have to tell anyone, you know. And, and you won't regret it. Forget it. I won't be bribed.
Greetings. What do you need? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Maddock attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from routing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There is a few, but not enough to give us too much trouble. Hmm. We should be able to handle that if Sir Robard sends us a few men. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Tarnberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take half his men and march to Pribislavitz. We'll meet there and mount an attack together. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. Jesus, look where you're going.
Greetings. What business have you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzik wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzik wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzik is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take at least half of your men. We're to go to Pribislavitz with them and mount an assault together. All right then. Sir Radzik knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Sir Radzik. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force and right under our noses? We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers... It's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. 
Forward march. To the bridge, quickly! Get to the other side, as many of you as possible! Hold your position!
Master! You don't remember me. I remember you, though. Now, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You are the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last evening. I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy.
Not bad for a peasant brat. It's not over yet, you scum. And where's my sword? What have you done with it? Talk, you bastard! I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. There were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, you live to fight another day, eh? <coughs> That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today. I will make you pay for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. How are you, Henry?
I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I think I have something that belongs to you. I found it in Scalitz. What do you mean? That's it. By all the saints, thank you. You don't even know how much you helped us. And if you know my wife, then you'll know you just saved my life. I probably shouldn't even tell you this, but Kunesh was after your treasure too. He wanted us to keep it ourselves. What? That... That... I'll give him... I mean to say, I'll tell everyone about him. I... I don't know what to say. Here, take this at least. I'm poor, but you saved us. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Verbislovitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <coughs> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Provislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Kurra! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... ...worth. Hmm. Kurva! 
suck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschers seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Dop the devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. They haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you, all of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Henry! Just the man I want to see. I need help with something. What's the problem, sir? Good day, Henry. The Archbishop's vicar has come to Uzitz. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics, which frankly never meant any good, especially for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. What does a vicar you, do, exactly? You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Hare of Hassenburg. What should I do about him, then? Firstly, Welcome find out him. why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate, which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I, um, encourage him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him I've sent you to assist him. I understand. And my task is to assist him in finding nothing. Indeed. Very well. I'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad. And be careful. Clergymen are wily Henry? weasels. So take care. I'll be careful. Don't worry, Sir Hannes.